How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 2018 TwitchCon keynote. There are some features that they had announced that I think are going to be very great for the platform, but they can also be telling that there is a lot of competition happening inside of the streaming space. So the stuff that they had mentioned, if you don't want to watch the full hour, you can read this article, but I'm also going to be going over the key features as well as giving my own opinions on it and sharing my thoughts. And I would love to hear yours in the comment section below. Now, you may also be hearing me kind of giving my opinions on, you know, comparing platforms because I, I already know that's going to be coming up. People are going to be like, oh, well, you know, this one has this or just copying. So I'm going to be giving my own opinions on that, too, because... There's, there's some stuff here that's definitely going to bring that up. Um, but if you want to read this article, it's going to be in the video description below. So the first thing that had gotten people's attention was squad streams. Now, squad streams is very similar to those of you guys who stream on Mixer, which is your co-streaming. Now, it says here that up to four creators will be able to stream together in a single view that viewers discover when they visit any of one of their channels. Viewers can watch on desktop and mobile, as well as easily follow and subscribe to all channels. Chat is linked to whichever channel a viewer selects as their main view, so that they can hang out with their friends or jump over to another community with just a click or a tap. Select streamers will be testing out squad streams later this year. Now, if you've ever streamed over on Twitch way before Beam and Mixer was even a thing, you might remember something called multi-Twitch. Multi-Twitch was a separate website that you would tag up to four different type of streams. And the only thing that it didn't do was combine all chats. So I went ahead and brought Multi-Twitch back up. Say hello to Multi-Twitch. This was Multi-Twitch. So I have my stream here. I have my brother's stream just to show you how it was laid out. This is very similar to, I believe, Grid or Mobile um, for how it is over on uh, Mixer. So the only thing that you guys have over on Mixer is the chat was combined. But over here, you had to jump between chats. That was the only thing that was pretty much different. Um, since the chats weren't combined, you didn't have to worry about anyone having the issue of, you know, commands working for both and having overlapping of stuff like that. You could watch both streams, but only be staying with one community. If one chat was a little bit more toxic, you didn't have to actually be in that chat and seeing it all the time. You know, it, it was it was nice to be able to have it split apart while still being able to watch all the streamers together. So that that's what multi-twitch was. It was a pain in the butt to use, so not a lot of people use it, but now we have squad streams coming. Now, the other thing that I do like about this is you can view it on mobile. And I love the setup. So in this in this screenshot here, this is like the desktop version of it, I believe. And this is having the main streamer that you want to watch on the top. And then the smaller streamers, are, well, not smaller streamers, but like the streamers that are not the main one you're watching are smaller and they're underneath. But the chat is still all combined. So... It's like co-streaming, but I want people who keep saying that, oh, you stole it from Mixer to understand that it was already something that we wanted in the UI and now we finally got it, but we finally got it because Twitch was seeing the competitiveness. So Mixer did a great thing by adding that competitive atmosphere to the streaming space. So I give mad props to Mixer for doing it. But I just want streamers to understand that it's not something that Mixer had come up with first. Because we had multi-Twitch. It just wasn't put into the UI. But it's good It's good competition. Now here's the other thing. Highlight Editor Update. Highlight Editor will now allow streamers and editors to stitch together moments from across a video into a single highlight. So this is going to be coming out in January. And... This, I think, is freaking sick because you'll have one stream. And if you have multiple epic moments in that stream, it will highlight it. And I was watching the panel for it and they were saying that 
they eventually want to have it for like if you get um, like a like a raid, you know, it will pop up in the highlight editor. Um, different type of cues, followers, subscribers, bits and stuff like that. So that way, I mean, you can still clip it if you need to. You can still use boom if you need to and stuff like that. But this is going to allow you to have all these things already pieced together. And you can just be like, okay, I want this. Let's trim it a little bit, save it, trim that a little bit, save it. And it's just, it will be like a montage of the stream. So it's, it's really sick. And they said that eventually they, they, they want to work to it to where you can do multiple past broadcasts and try to put those together. So you could do like top weekly of something or anything like that. So it's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how that's going to be put together. Um, now this, this one is where a lot of people are like, oh, here we go. This, this is, this is Mixer 100%. So new feature section on the Twitch homepage says starting later this year, we're rolling out a range of new feature sections, like, um, ones highlighting the up and coming streamers, new partners and affiliates or streamers local to the viewer. So the, the biggest one here is up and coming. That is something that Mixer has. That that is that is a Mixer feature, clear cut and through. So yes, I can understand you guys saying that they that they went and took that one. And yeah, I'll give you I'll give you guys that. I think it's a great feature that they are adding. Uh, but <laughs> adding the new partners and affiliates that is amazing because new partners finding new audiences is great. Affiliates. Even though it is pretty easy to get affiliated over on Twitch, you still have the ability of being put into that area on the homepage and working your way towards partner because that's the next step for a lot of affiliates. And then being able to find streamers that are local to you, so finding other streamers in your state, that's fantastic for meetups. I freaking love that idea that we have the ability now to kind of know where you are through location. Now, I don't know if the location is going to be through like just United States or if it's just going to be something a little bit more narrowed down, but to see that they're going to be adding those things, I, I, I definitely, definitely like that. So then they started talking into uh, kind of like VIP badges. And I think this is a pretty cool idea. Uh, it says VIP badges. It says for streamers will now be able to recognize valuable members of their community without requiring them to subscribe or moderate with a VIP badge. The VIP members are recognized with a badge and can also chat in slow, sub only, or follower only mode. Creators earn 10 badges when they complete the build a community achievement by reaching 50 followers and five unique chatters in a stream and can earn up to 100 badges as their community grows. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so that, that gives that recognition to your regulars, which I think is pretty nice. Then this, oh, I love the moderator tool. This is fantastic, like 100% fantastic. My mods are going to love this. So this, oh man, this, this was my, like, I, I was very happy when I saw this. So it says by clicking on someone's username, mods can... Uh, mods will be able to see how long that person has been on Twitch, the details of their activity in chat, like chat, number of timeouts or bans. The update will also include a new comment tool that lets mods work together by leaving notes for each other. This is fantastic because all that stuff is so needed because people are like, oh, no, I never said that. Or what I get banned, you know, all these different things or how many times you've been timed out for. So now you can have a rule that if you've been timed out three times, well, now we can see that you've been timed out three times and goodbye, you're banned. Now, the one thing is bans are not forever. So they can always, you know, whisper the mod or they can whisper the streamer and be like, hey, look, I'm sorry, you know, this and that. And they can go and try to see if they can, you know, get unbanned. But having these features like being able to comment about the the actual like person in the chat and everything like that so we always have it seeing their chat log and everything oh it's fantastic love it uh so this was the other thing that they were talking about with roles so now you'll be able to see and change your community's members roles uh, you'll be able to see it all in one spot pretty much and you can 
change it up if you need to. Like if someone gets a different type of role, it's very easy to change it. Subscription badges now show a total number of months. So this is pretty neat for those who have like, who are those of you who are affiliates and stuff like that. So it says here that we've heard your feedback loud and clear and that the subscription badges need to reward consistent supporters, even if they've missed a sub one month. So sub badges will now change to show the total number of months a viewer has been subscribed. If a viewer is on an amazing streak, they can sh- they can still choose to share it uh, when they resubscribe. I can't read today. <laughs> um, extensions is always a big thing for for Twitch, and I'm not a big person for Snapchat, but they have the Snap Camera extension, so it's like a filter um, that you know you guys can use. Um, so let me see if I can find where it actually gets into detail on here. It says uh, Snap Snap Camera lets you use your Snapchat's best lenses live on stream with your webcam. With the Snap Camera extension, viewers can use the Snapchat to scan and Snap Code on the screen, or scan the Snap Code on the, on the screen to um, to try on the lens. And streamers can reward subs by activating a custom lens of the streamers choosing um, when someone subscribes. So, I mean, personally, I do like the the Fire one. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty awesome, especially if you guys are like into like Dragon Ball Z or something. You could have you could think it's like Super Saiyan. Me, I think of Hades. <laughs> um, so this was the bounty boards. Uh, bounties is something I haven't had a chance to take a look at. It's still kind of new to me. Um, it says here to make it easier for streamers to find sponsors and op- or sponsored opportunities. They feel authentic and align with their community's interests, we're opening bounties to 30 more different brands starting in November. Partners and select affiliates in the U.S. and Canada will be able to use the bounty board and earn even more. And in 2019, we'll open it to even more affiliates in more countries, uh, beginning with the U.K. So I don't really have much info on this. So whenever this comes up, I'll probably dabble in it a little bit to get a little bit more information. And then Twitch sings. So this is this was pretty cool. Um, so it's like a, it's karaoke. So karaoke, they said here, uh, it says with uh, Twitch sings, you can sing your heart out, share your performances across Twitch or perform duets with your community. And being in the crowd is just as much fun as holding the mic and just as important. In chat, you can request songs, give your favorite streamers crazy challenges to tackle, and when you cheer, you'll see the bits rain down on the crowd. So I already signed up for the beta for this. I'm excited for this, and I can't wait to bring it to the to the actual channel and everything. But there's there's a lot of great features that they talked on here. Some of the big ones, obviously, for me is the the mod um, controls there. Or sorry, mod controls here. What was I pointing at? Oh, that's that's not what I meant. That one mods. <laughs> I looked at the chat thing, but yeah, the mods thing is something that is really important for me. I love the the whole new featured section. So, yes, like I said, up and coming is great, but I love the area for the new partners and new affiliates and local streamers. So what they're really trying to do is helping everybody grow from where you have zero followers, zero viewers. You'll be part of the up and coming more than likely when you come, when you become an affiliate, you know, you'll probably have your own section, new partners have their own section. And then of course, finding streamers local to you for meetups and everything in between. It's fantastic. It's great. I love seeing that. And then of course, squad streams. Now I'm not a big person for doing co-streams, but for those of you guys who are, and who like to watch multiple people that are probably co-streaming. You know, it's going to be great to see the squad stream go through. But guys, if you've stuck around this entire video, thank you so much for listening to me go over this. I really want to hear your own voice inside the comments. So please let me hear it. But do be respectful for other people's opinions because they are what they are. Opinions. I don't want to see no wars going on in my in my comment section. Otherwise, I will butcher those comments. But I want you guys to understand that streaming... It's, it's not about the platform. It's about where the creator fears, feels most comfortable. Not fears, but where the creator feels the most comfortable. 
and has everything they need to do what they want to do. Whether that's YouTube gaming, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, Twitch, Mixer, it doesn't matter. Support the streamer and where they go, no matter the platform. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.